When it comes to Canva, there's a very important pro and a very important con. The pro is that they offer so many incredible apps. This is actually very cool. Look at this right there. The con is that they offer so many incredible apps. Wait, what? So that's why I make videos just like these, to be on a constant lookout for some of the best apps to help you take your creativity to a whole new level. There's a link in the description to try Canva Pro, free for 30 days. Okay, so for the first app, this one is called Code Image. And to me, this one is really cool. So in the search bar, all you have to do is just type it in. And one key thing you wanna remember is that in the search bar, it is sensitive by space. So if you have a space between two words, it might not show up in the search. You have to spell the app out the way it appears. And then here it is right here, code image. It's gonna be the first one, generate image of the code in any program language. But this works well, not just for code language, but even for text, which I like because I do think that this kind of design does look pretty cool, especially when added to a design. So for this, let's go ahead and add in a new design. And then you can see instantly there it is over here on the left-hand side. Now it gives us a preview. I can add to my design and right away, you can see how this does look pretty cool. Now you can do that. You can put in some real legit code like this, but if I remove this and then up here at the very top, let's add something completely different. Hello, thanks for watching. Metrics Mule. Thanks for watching. And now let's go ahead and add this to a design. And then look at that, pretty cool. It's right there, ready to go. And the other cool thing about this is that over here on the left-hand side, you can select your different theme. Right now, I'm just on the default one, but look, I can go to dark plus and you see how this looks a little bit different right here with two different shades of black, okay? I can also choose a few other different ones. Let's go ahead and go with Dracula. If I select Dracula, notice how Metrics Mule is now gonna be italicized and also in the green color, okay? Now, I could also select control size, small, medium, or large. Notice on the bottom left how the buttons will change in size. And then I can also select my language. I have anything from C++, Bash, CSS, HTML, etc. You have all of these different type of options. So if I switch to Ruby, you can see how the text becomes purple and pink. And then also in window control, right now I'm on Mac. I can also go to Windows or none. For the most amazing prompts and prompts databases, click the links in the description. Now for the next one. This one is called Cree Key or Cry Key. Engage your audience with 3D animated avatars. As I scroll over, you could see some of these avatars do look pretty cool. Now, once you're in the new design, over here on the left-hand side, you could select all of your different avatars. And you can see we do have a few different options, okay? You can just click on one and then also select the animation up in the top left-hand corner after that. And now here is the script. Now just type something in simple right down here. And then you could select your voice model. We have standard or enhance. I can choose my different accents. Let's go with Australian. Hello, this is my voice. Okay, it's ready. Let's select that play button. Don't forget to subscribe. That's pretty cool. Now moving on, this next one is called Shape cropper. Crop images into unique frames easily. This is pretty cool. Now let's go ahead and select in a new design again. And this makes it so easily to crop a specific image inside of a specific graphic or shape. So the first thing that you need to do is just go ahead and upload an image or you can use an image you already had uploaded prior. Now there it is on the left hand side. I can increase my zoom. Now down here below you could see we have our frames that we could select. If I go to select all we have all of these different options. So depending on what image that you select, it's going to crop your image into that one. So first let's start simple. I'm going to select top left, the triangle shape. And on the left-hand side, I can just move up and down my image. Now, if I like that, now go ahead down below and select add to design. And now look, she's going to automatically be in this triangle. Okay. If I remove that one and this time let's do something completely different. How about this puzzle piece? Now I can move my image around add this to design, and now she's gonna be in this puzzle piece right here, which I think this is actually very cool. Look at this right there. That looks amazing. So you can really crop in your specific images into all of these different unique shapes. And you can even do letters, which I think is pretty cool as well. So even with a letter, and now look at that, the letter M, but my AI influencer is in the center of that M. This is pretty cool. Okay, this next one is called All Free Icons. It kind of speaks for itself, but let's go ahead and open this up. and. Basically Basically, all the icons you need all in one place, there's the most important keyword for free. So let's go ahead and open up a new design in this one. And what we want to do is first add a little background to our actual design. That way it's not white. Now over here in the top left hand corner, it's automatically defaulted to black. If I put this house in here, it's going to be black, but I can even change the color up as well by simply just toggling this back and forth to actually select the sort of color I'm looking for. We'll stick to this teal color right here and then notice instantly all of my icons 
are going to be that color right off the bat. Now down here at the bottom, we can even load more and we can keep scrolling. However, if you have a specific thing in mind, you could search or you could toggle with these filters and see all of these different options that we have. Okay. So if I just type in shape, for an example, all of these different shapes are going to appear. If I type in a specific name brand like Canva, look, this appears as well. If I select Canva now, look, I actually get the actual logo. Now, if I switch it up a little bit and I type in Nike, just like that, I get these Nike swooshes. And then there it is. Okay, moving on. Now, this next one is called Toon Tank. Now, here it is right here. I have my headphones on for a reason because it says bring unique sound into your project. Get over 3,000 royalty-free curated background tracks across different genres, moods, and themes. So you can see some of the previews right here. It's going to give us some cool royalty-free music. Let's go ahead and open up a new design. And now, just like that, over here on the left-hand side, we already have these options that we could work with. So right off the bat we have epic and check out how good these actually do sound and as i scroll down you can see we have more from like piano ambient sad trap this is called training day okay that's actually pretty good and now after you added it, it's automatically added into your library. And that's where you're going to find it. If you go to uploads and then select audio up in the top left hand corner, you can see here is the training day one I just added. And now all you have to do is click it one time. It brings it into the design. And now look at this down here below. It's already in here. Let's go ahead and then just bring an image in. Now let's go ahead and play this. Now, if I want to make it actually longer, select the actual video that you're on. And now in the top, hit trim. And you can see right now it's at four seconds. That's because my video is only four seconds. So let's go ahead and pick a longer video. Okay, there we have it. And again, down here below, my tune is still there. It's signified by that purple line. Let's go ahead and hit play on this one now. So now you can see it's going to take up the whole 10.5 seconds. Now at the very bottom, if I want to get a different point of the audio, just click and drag it to the left or right. Now that I have this different portion in here, now look at the difference of when I select the play button. Okay, so now I get more of that baseline. I could drag it a little bit further and now I can get more of that baseline coming earlier. That's pretty cool. Now up here at the very top, we're gonna have more options we can choose from, okay? Once you click audio at the bottom, you'll see the options appear at the very top. We can even fade in and fade out. And we can also do a beat sync to where if you sync this, your pages and elements will be automatically timed to the music. And then we can even enhance my voice. So if this had an actual person speaking, it would take the audio of the video and actually enhance the voice. Okay, moving on. Now, I really like this one a lot. This one is called Image Blender. This is where it's going to allow you to have some Photoshop Pro style edits and do it directly right here into Canva. That's where like on this image right here, you could take two images and blend them seamlessly into one. So the first thing you want to do is just have two images in here. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and then select this image right here. The next image I'm going to add is one that might blend in fairly well, somewhat of the same color scheme. So how about this AI image right here of this Star Wars character? Okay, now we're going to make this a little bit bigger like that. Now just go ahead and click on the image you want blended in to the other image. We want this Star Wars one and just select blend image. Now right away you could see, look, he's blended in, but it's not quite right yet. That is where I can adjust the strength over here on the left hand side by going left and right and then I can move around this little wheel to allow him to really blend in quite seamlessly. Now look at this. Now right here is pretty cool but I can kind of control the whole thing by going in this 360 motion but once it's in a location that looks pretty cool all you have to do is over here on the left hand side just select save and now look there is the final product. That is pretty amazing. Now how about this astronaut right here? I'll do the same exact thing. Okay just select this image and then select blend selected image just like that and then adjust the strength by moving the toggle so if we keep moving this around look at that you're eventually going to get 
to a good blended style. And right now I'm in linear. I can also select radial and adjust the strength. And now look at that. Now that looks pretty cool. Move this around. And as I move my circle around, it has actually created a masking effect for me. Then when I expand it, I can make it a little bit bigger. Again, move it around some more. Once I'm in a pretty cool spot, look at that, that looks pretty cool. Now just go ahead and select save here. And once it's saved, you can move it around, expand it, and then there you have it. Now again, this one's not quite perfect, but you get the drift. You can actually make this stand out and look really cool. Okay, last but not least, this next one is called PDF Deck. Now I think this one is gonna be so helpful for a lot of people. Easily share your designs as PDF links. And anytime you do that, you'll also get a actual QR code that anybody can scan and open up that specific document. Okay, so check this out. So what I have opened up right here is just a sample website I created in Canva. You could see that I have about 15 different slides. And in fact, if you haven't seen this video, I highly recommend you do because I break down how you can actually create websites, real live websites in Canva. Now with PDF deck activated, you see right off the bat, we have three options. We have PDF, we have flipbook, and we have presentation. So either way, they're all going to be these online PDF files, but the way it's displayed, you have three pretty cool options. So for the generic one, let's just go with simple PDF for now. All you have to do is click this button one time, and then instantly it is going to generate a live PDF file for you. Go ahead and now select export. Now watch this. A link will appear on the left-hand side, and now just like that, there is my actual link up in the top left-hand corner. And now we can see how it's actually gonna look. Look at this. Here is the real PDF as I scroll down. Now, it kept the resolution, everything looks amazing, and now this is a 100% shareable PDF. Now, I can do the same exact thing, and now this time, let's do it as a flip book, and now get PDF link. And then there you have that one, just like that. Let's open this one up. And now we have a PDF link, but this time it is in the form of a flip book. Check this out. All I'm doing is clicking the flip pages in the bottom left hand corner and this looks so good and so professional as i go through each one it also keeps the resolution looks very good and then again we could test it out by opening up my camera scan the qr code and now my flip book is actually opened and now there you have it you can see i have it opened up on my phone right here and now remember if you don't have canva pro there's a link in my description but if you like this video please remember to hit that subscribe button and thank you so much for watching